There's a chance, a chance we may be able to see some Twins baseball games later this month. We're just hours away from the new deadline for League Officials and Players Association to reach a new collective bargaining agreement. Here's Bill Keller with the latest from Target Field. Yeah, both sides have been in talk since MLB locked players out. That was back in the beginning of December. And after a marathon day of negotiations, there is a glimmer of hope to save America's pastime. On Monday, players and team owners spent 16 and a half hours negotiating. They went into the early hours of the morning. And while they didn't quite get it done, there was apparently enough of an agreement to buy both sides a little more time. The league extending its deadline to reach a labor agreement. They now have until 5 p.m. Eastern today. If they can agree on a new contract, opening day set for March 31st will be saved. If not, the league will start canceling games. I think it's stupid. I think they should just come together and talk. Um, the Twin Cities needs baseball. Baseball needs the Twin Cities. And we will be missing out if we don't have a baseball season. You know what? You got millionaire owner or billionaire owners and millionaire players that can't figure out how to split up that much money and the bottom line is us as fans and small businesses around the stadium suffer. And it's not just the players, the team owners, and the fans that stand to miss out. Local businesses around Target Field that rely on game day crowds are also worried about the possibility of losing revenue if games are canceled. Without a deal, fans could actually miss out on the first 12 home games in the first month of the season, including the Twins' home opener, currently scheduled for April 7th. But within the last hour, players and team management have resumed talks, leaving them just six hours to end the 90-day lockout. In Minneapolis, Bill Keller, Fox 9.